The Wizard Returns, Chapter 13 The climb up the stairs from the fairy's kingdom was not as long as he remembered it, and he soon emerged, blinking into the sunlit meadow where Pete and Iris had left him. Pete was sitting with his back against a tree eating an apple. So you made your choice, Pete said, and you remember now what you were. So I did, and yes I do. They were both quiet, looking at each other. The fairies can be... awful. I was going to say complicated, Pete said, smiling a little. But yes, that too. But you have to understand, the good of Oz is what they care about most, no matter how they seem to be the unprepared visitor. Is it? The wizard said. Pete looked at him, surprised. For the first time since the wizard had met him, he looked uncertain. Of course, Pete said. That's all any of us want. What's best for Oz? Of course, the wizard echoed. That's why you chose this, Pete said. That's why you choose to stay, to fight for what Oz once was, and will be again. We won't fail. We'll defeat Dorothy and restore the balance. That's all I want, the wizard said smoothly, and Pete's face collapsed into relief. Good, he said. I'm sorry I underestimated you. Pete took a deep breath. Listen, I owe you an apology. All along I expected the worst from you. I don't really blame you, the wizard said gently. I did things that were unforgivable. I can hardly expect you to simply forget the past. I can't forget the past, Pete said nobly. But I did forget something that just as important. I forgot that people can change, even people who have done terrible things. I've learned so much from you, the wizard said easily. Pete smiled and the wizard almost laughed. So easy to fool them, so easy to play the part of the penitent revolutionary, vowing to do right by his adopted home. What did they say? Pete and the fairies, if they could see what he really wanted. Oz had been his once, and it can be again. Not just his in name, as it had been before, but his, his holy. Now that he knew he had real power, now that he could a access the old magic of Oz... He had liked the throne, liked it very much. He didn't know why the fairies wanted the three gifts so badly, but the answer had to be their power. If he had the old magic, the gifts, the throne, nothing would be able to stop him. Not Dorothy, not Glinda, not a bunch of goths in black bathrobes, chain-smoking gloves, uh, clothes underground and lounging for the good old days. And Dorothy, oh yes, he remembered her. Dorothy owed him, and he was going to make her pay. Pete took a step forward, and the long grass parted to reveal the most familiar highway in Oz, the road of yellow brick, waiting as it always was, to take the travelers to the Emerald City, no matter where their journey began. The wizard smiled to himself. Like Dorothy had once said, there was no place like home. He found he was already, he was very much looking forward to his return. Are you ready? Pete asked, taking the first step to the golden road. Oh, yes, the wizard said, tapping his cane lightly against the yellow bricks. I am very ready indeed.